Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you this week. All right, so we got concerns. So maybe you're concerned about business matters. You're concerned about, um, make. you gotta make some choices here. So it's something you need to think over, you need to mull over, okay? It could be business, it could be love. Let's see what else is going on for my Scorpios here. Marriage, okay. Who are you going to marry? You could be seeing 333 three, three here showing up for you. Um, what you pray for or who you pray for is coming back to you or um, they're here for you uh, here. You could be concerned about this marriage. Uh, is it going in the right direction here? Um, you could be concerned about how you're going to propose marriage to someone here. You could be concerned about uh, yeah, if this person wants to marry you. Yeah, adjudication, definitely. Another three. Some of you are definitely concerned about, do I marry this person? Am I am I doing the right thing? Um, again, some of you are concerned about business contracts, um, what you're going to commit yourself to. Um, but some of you are concerned about, you know, is this going to go well for me? Um, is this what I should be doing? It's almost as if you need a third party to go ahead and validate that or confirm it for you. Wow, another three here. Bad health. Um, with this here, this coming up here, you're not sure if the relationship can come out of a certain place here. Or if this person has let go of maybe a sex-only connection. Or you want to know if you have kind of gotten out of that phase of maybe sowing your wild oats. Or are you in a place of where you can now... Some of you can't have children and you're thinking about having children within your marriage here. You're seeing if you need to go to someone to actually get help to do that. Some of you, um, the relationship can be taking a toll, a, a turn, you know, for the worse here. Um, some of you, your health is just declining here all while you're trying to hold on to something or somebody. Okay, so you need to let go of something uh, so you can have growth thriving or, or prosperity in your health the main female here yeah um so there's a main female and a main male so there's a relationship here and you're wondering if you should propose if they will propose to you um it looks like they're thinking about it they want to do it it's definitely weighing heavily on their heart if you are dealing with some contractual um situation this week it looks like um you're gonna have to give it a lot of thought you may even need to sit down with uh, judge, lawyer, mediator, someone who can give you uh, best advice. Um, some of you are holding too tight to grudges, to um, issues, deep-seated issues from the past, childhood issues, to where you can't allow something to grow, to, th to thrive here. Okay, and some of you are going to get um, your, your instant manifestation here in terms of what you've been praying for. Let's get two cards here for you and close this out. Let's see. The Four of Cups. Some of you are concerned about rejection or you're just being way too self-centered in making a decision here. You're circling everything back to you. Um, look outside of yourself. Something is a blessing. Something is a gift. Okay. Um, get out of that despondent uh, energy, that uh, boredom, that uh, rejection, that... Uh, self self-sacrificing or self-centeredness here um, something happened and that's just it it happened okay you need to understand that some of you are really going over contracts and uh income and things maybe even income tax eight of pentacles here um, some of you concerned about work you're too concerned about work to be focused on love some of you are concerned about marrying someone this is a marriage that's happening later in life you're concerned if you have enough money resources to actually provide for you and the other person some of you are definitely concerned about um your investment or the investment made you're being prudent right now in your choices and your decisions um, but you're building and you're working towards something here um you may have have two different um, modes of income or how you bring in money or what you do every single day is is two different things you're growing two different things here um there also could be somebody juggling juggling two different relationships one is sex only one is a girlfriend uh boyfriend type of situation um 
somebody keeps giving you chances over and over again or something happens over and over again somebody is way invested in a connection here to where they can't get out of it but they don't see a way out of it um yeah this is what i have for you uh scorpio lord of prudence so make sure you're being prudent with your money i don't know that's really sticking out to me here make sure that you are um carefully looking over um, your resources go over and balance your checkbook go over your profit and loss statement and make sure that everything is making sense here all right especially if you are in business with friend and or family all right this is what i have for you thank you scorpio go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link thank you scorpio many blessings to you